Hello, my name is Paul Stewart and I'm in the Cathay Pacific, the Wing First Lounge at Hong Kong International Airport where we're about to test out the first class product through to London. This was my first time flying in Cathay First and I was excited to find out that my aircraft had a refurbished suite which I'll point out later on. On arrival to the airport I headed to the dedicated first class section where I was checked in and my bag was taken. Access to the Wing First Lounge is immediately on the left after you go through security and it's honestly one of the best airport lounges in the world. To keep this video under 20 minutes, I'm just going to show you the highlights and I'll include a link to a video I did two years ago that shows the first and business class lounges in more detail. Since it was 9am in the morning, I headed to the restaurant which has a buffet and an a la carte offering. Pause the video for a closer look at the menu. As I said, being 9am and in one of the best lounges around, I figured a celebratory champagne was in order while I waited for my cabana. There's five private cabanas and it's a must that you book one of these as soon as you arrive at the lounge. They include a bath, which if you're lucky you may see me modelling in later, a rain shower, a day bed and a desk. There's also a toilet and toiletries on request. There's nothing classier than champagne in a bath at 9.30 in the morning. I think it was Marie Antoinette who said that the first time she flew uh, Cathay First. After relaxing here for an hour, it was off to the Pier First Lounge, which is where I plan to spend the rest of the morning. I should clarify that there's also a business lounge which shares the same name, which is why I keep adding the word first. Just make sure that you don't accidentally go to the business lounges, and while they're good, they're not this good. And now, watch me trip on an escalator. Inside, the pier first is amazing. The first thing I did was book a massage and then headed to the restaurant for lunch. As it was still the morning-ish, I had a mimosa, which is orange juice, mostly. After sitting around and doing very little, I'd built up quite an appetite. Here's the lunch menu, followed by the food I ordered. After lunch, I headed to the day bed, which is something worth considering booking as soon as you arrive at the lounge. There's an electric blind and as many power plugs as you need. They recommend that you stay here for up to one and a half hours, which I did, and enjoy the view. After watching some planes, it was time for my complimentary massage before heading to the bar. Pause the video here for a closer look at the drinks menu. As I was about to board, I just had fruit juice as I was saving room for the Crew 2004 on board my flight. Now here's my aircraft, which is painted in the new Cathay livery. This particular 777-300ER was delivered in 2010 and is powered by two GE90 engines, which you'll hear very shortly. Hello. And here's my seat 1A. It's a small first class cabin with only six seats in a 111 layer. The A side gets the aisle to themselves, which makes it slightly quieter. Cathay only recently upgraded their champagnes and I was incredibly fortunate to get the Crew 2004 which sells for around $400 a bottle back in Australia. 
warm nuts were also provided. A real highlight of this trip was a fantastic crew and they all came and introduced themselves and were keen to make my first flight in Cathay First a wonderful experience. A warm towel was brought around and more crew. A male emergency kit was brought around, although I must admit that it was quite sparse inside. Eye covers and slippers were provided with the PJs, which you'll see in a sec. In a tradition I hope to continue, I'll be giving away the amenity kit and a few other goodies to a subscriber, and there'll be more details of that towards the end of the video. And just before we take off, let's explore the seat in more detail. Cathay Pacific are in the process of refurbishing their seats, with the main improvement being the in-flight entertainment, which now has a vastly superior 18.5 inch high definition screen. The material on the seats has also been upgraded and changed slightly in colour. What the video really doesn't show is how absolutely massive the seat is. It's regarded as one of the best hard products in the sky and for good reason. adjustment for the seats and massage feature which works reasonably well. Next to that is the upgraded handpiece which I believe is shared with the new Airbus A350s. The seat is incredibly wide and part of it folds down into an armrest. As you'll see later on, when it folds down and converts into a bed, it makes for a very wide and comfortable place to sleep. After takeoff, another round of drinks was offered and our menus were brought around. As usual, I'll move over them quickly, so pause the video for a closer look. noticed a common theme with my drinks choices, but when Crew 2004 is being served, it's not a very difficult decision. I cannot understate how amazing the crew were who served me on this trip. The reality is that business class is really good now that the seats fold flat and most have individual private suites. The main thing that differentiates first in business is that special feeling you get from great service.
grab a break from the champagne and go for a Chardonnay from France. After lunch, it was time to get into the pyjamas and settle down and watch a movie. As the upgraded high definition TV screen is probably the highlight of the refurbishment, I'll look at it in more detail. The in-flight map works really well and the images of the aircraft are highly detailed. The touchscreen is really responsive and everything loads quickly. Cathay show advertisements prior to movies and TV shows, but after a few seconds, you're usually able to fast forward through them. My bed was made up and I tried to get some sleep. Unfortunately, my camera struggled in the dark, but you can just make out the white mattress that they put over the seat. Part of the seat extends up, making the bed even wider, although unfortunately I didn't get this clearly on camera. And just a quick visit to the loo. There were two of them for the six passengers, so you never had to wait. What did confuse me for the first few hours, though, was the light signifying that the toilets are free is actually red. When it's actually occupied, it remains red, but a cross appears. I was sitting there with my legs crossed, waiting for it to go green. After a few hours of sleep, I woke up and had a coffee. At this time, we were just flying south of Finland and about two and a half hours out of London Heathrow. As we were due into London at around 8pm, dinner was served. As we come into land in what appeared to be very Australian weather, I'll quickly mention the amenity kit giveaway. It's open to everyone and all you need to do is give the video a thumbs up, comment with the hashtag amenity kit and make sure that you're a subscriber. The winner will be decided with a random number generator that will select a comment once they've been arranged in a chronological order. Full details are in the video description below. I'm happy to ship internationally and the competition closes on midnight Sydney time 30 days after I've uploaded this video. And now to conclude, 
This was a fantastic flight. The seat itself is massive and really comfortable. Even without doors, it's really private, especially on the left side of the aircraft. The real improvement was the in-flight entertainment screen as the older one did struggle. The drink was really good and the Crew 2004 was a real highlight. The food was a fantastic continuation of the amazing food provided in the lounges and I'd really encourage you to arrive at the airport early for breakfast and lunch. Both lounges were fantastic, although make sure you book the cabana as soon as you arrive at the wing first. And then book the massage and the day bed as soon as you arrive at the pier. And finally, the crew, who were really good. As I said before, the main difference between first and business is how special you're treated and these guys were the textbook definition of a first class crew. We were referred to by name the entire flight, food was delivered and removed properly and as you saw, drinks were topped up regularly. They did particularly well considering the amount of turbulence that you would have seen during some of my footage. Well that's it from me, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, make sure you click the like button and subscribe for more similar videos. Also, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to enter the Amanda Kit giveaway. I'll also include a link below to a more detailed video of the Cathay First and Business Lounges at Hong Kong Airport. Thanks for watching.